This is the story of finding a max weight track and tracking it down to eventually find out that it's something pretty special. All right, just kicked up a beautiful mythical mountain lion trying through here and we're trying to get a shot off on him, but there he is. That could have been a shot, but we don't want to take it behind that tree. But when he steps out, that's going to be our shot. Ooh, that was a touch forward on that. Uh, oh, no, thought we got him. Son of a... Just that little tiny bit of being forward. I can't believe we just did that. We've been tracking a max weight Rocky Mountain Bull for a good while now, and I just spotted him right over there. In fact, he should be coming out here any second now. Yep, there he is right there, as a matter of fact. That is not him, but that is going to be him right there. He's not a giant, but he's a really good bull. We've tracked him for a long ways, and we're up on top of this mountain here, looking down this valley, so we got a pretty epic position on this bull. You know, it's all about trying to be as realistic as possible, and in this scenario here, I would absolutely love to be in it. Can you imagine how sweet this would be to be up here, on top of this ridge, looking down this huge valley and just having an amazing vantage point on this beautiful bull. There he is right there stepping out, 150 yards. We were just about to take the shot, but then he turned back. So now we gotta wait till he turns broadside. All right, he's gonna cross through right there and that's gonna be our opportunity for a shot. Perfect shot. Beautiful bull is absolutely hammered. We could probably potentially even double up. Yeah, I think we could actually double up. Cause this bull doesn't exactly know what's going on. We're gonna go for a front on chest shot and that had a lot of potential to connect. Yes, it did. Oh my God, we got him. Doubled up. Two beautiful bulls are going down. That bull's going down right there. There's another bull right out there, but this bull isn't quite as big, so we're gonna hold off on him. And we just got a call from a muley buck as well. So that could be kind of interesting if we could potentially take down him also. Well, it's not a buck, but that is a beautiful, beautiful ram. 440 yards. And that shot was freaking money, baby. Woo! 440 yard time potential. Bighorn sheep just got absolutely smoked with a seven millimeter. And our last shot. That is our muley that we were looking for. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. All right. Let's try and get a shot. It's about 250. So we shouldn't have any drop at all. Decent looking buck. Yeah, it's about 250 out there. Well, if he doesn't turn broadside, we are not gonna get a shot. Well, let's watch him. Okay, so he's about 315 right there. Oh, he was broadside for half a second. All right, well, it was worth a try. Obviously, I didn't try and hit him. I just tried to take a shot to get him to turn at the last second before he got into that brush and uh well it didn't work but what did work is we had an absolutely incredible time taking down two beautiful rocky mountain bulls and a giant dime potential bighorn sheep and we also have another beautiful looking ram out there not quite as big as that five but still a beautiful ram and that's gonna be a 470 yard shot Mm, that's gonna be as far as we can get right there about 475 yards and we're gonna try and take it standing up as well oh 
Oh, we drop right below the heart. Nice try though. Very, very nice try. Now you might be wondering why we held for the heart. Well, it's because we are about 2,000 feet up in the air. So our bullet is gonna have a ton of elevation and that is why we held for the heart. The same reason why we held for the heart on our diamond potential bighorn sheep, because it was 400 yards as well. And we're super high up. Whoa, 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 whoa. slow down, please slow down. Whew. Okay, good. Let's grab our med kit. All right, so now we'll go down here and we'll grab both of our beautiful bulls as well as our max weight bighorn sheep. What I was gonna say though, is we had the track from a big Rocky Mountain elk, which is a max weight bull. And then on the way, I picked up a track from a max weight bighorn sheep. Check this out. Right over here, I have it marked right where I found the track from the max weight bighorn sheep. But turns out that the bighorn was down here, right next to our giant bull. So, I mean, how much more perfect could it actually work out? Honestly, what a heck of a turnout this has been. All right, so I believe one of our bulls should be back here. It should be like right here. Yup, got blood right here. And it fell right over the top of this ridge and it's piled up right there. Now I don't know which bull this is. I'm not sure which one it is, but I mean, they're both pretty good. There's a bull, and I do believe that that's gonna be our big bull. Took him at 199 yards and got a spine lung shot. So we did get him a touch high, but that's because we were angled so high up. And you see what I mean about the bullet elevation there? In all reality, it's still kind of a perfect shot. Walking away at 200 yards and to be able to basically drop the bull is awesome. So there we go. Beautiful looking bull. And that scored 385 gold. All right, I believe that that should be our big... Oh, we got blood here. Yeah, there's no way we would have found that. Right into the thicket is where he went. But here's our second bull down. It's going to be a 375 gold. Took him at 240 yards right through the chest there. And got a nice shoulder and left lung shot. Pretty good penetration, considering we took a basically front-on shot. And still went right through that front shoulder, as well as the lung. But a good-looking bull down as well. Alright, and now, the moment of truth is when we go down here and take a look at our giant Timodential Bighorn Sheep. That we took at over 430 yards with a new 7mm bolt-action rifle. Our bighorn was right down here in this grass. That is why we can't find any blood. Because it was in this grass. But he ran over this way. Oh my god. There he is down right here. He didn't go 20 yards and piled right up. Well, let's take a look at this massive dime potential bighorn sheep. All right, we got a good picture, and let's pick him up. Oh my god, it's going to be a gold. 160.31, just barely missed being a diamond. But a 442-yard walking liver lung shot. Actually, we did not catch liver. I mean, we did not catch lung. We ended up getting liver and stomach. So the shot was perfect, but the shot was also so far that we didn't even have enough penetration to go through and get a lung. Although, to me, that kind of looks like that should have been lung. To me, that looks like double lung liver and maybe intestine. You know what I mean? Because how? Yeah, hold up. Oh, wait, the lung is in front of it. Oh, I see what happened here. So the lung, look at, there's a little tiny gap right there. And this edge right here is the right lung. So we just missed that lung, but we did hit liver, which is right behind the lung. And the exit of our bullet there would have came out the opposite lung on this side. 
definitely. Because there was nothing to slow it down. I mean, we literally hit intestine and liver. We only hit organs. There was no bone, nothing to really slow it down. So it should have technically came out the other side, or at least hit this opposite lung, which would have been super, super cool to see. But I'll take a liver shot. And nonetheless, it's still a giant bighorn. There we go. And with that, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. And we'll see you next time. Man, it's so weird now that the animal just sits there. It doesn't spin anymore. I'm so used to it always spinning. You know what I mean? Like, it used to go like this the whole time. And so, basically, if I didn't click on it and hold to the right, it would just keep spinning. And now, it just sits there. <laughs> uh, it's funny.